Blake Sims. Best on the move. I would expect him to get some play pass early. Find a way to get your best receiver involved. Nobody targets one receiver more than the Crimson Tide and Amari Cooper. I like Blake at his best when he's moving. Chris Black running out late as they go two by two bunch formation. And they're going to boot this and get Cooper coming out in space where he is so dangerous. Amari Cooper, see ya. Tied, rolling early, just like last week. Nothing's changed. He wanted to come out on that first drive and have some play pass. He gets in the two by two look. They're a little late to line up. 80 yard touchdown strike to open up the night. Here's Sims now. Look at the time. And he threw it just beyond TJ Yeldon. Sims. Quick strike right into the pocket to move the chains on third down. And on the slant this time to Chris Black, it's incomplete. Cooper is on fire early. Everybody basically when you play Cooper is going to try to play a safety over the top and one way to beat that coverage there You see it. There's some of the cloud coverage with the safety over top is those in breaking routes have been very successful here early Here goes Cooper again One of the challenges Tennessee has is they love to play man coverage Cameron Sutton is a really good press corner What they look like when they've been playing down in T-Town Andrew White just a little now route. While well, they may be towards you, a lot harder to cheer when you're looking at a goose egg. Here's a bubble to White. Picks up the first block, turns on the speed, cuts back. Good because Ryan Kelly is right back at home in the middle. Second and seven. Sims so elusive. Launches it downfield and inside the five, it is caught by Cooper. Sims. A vertical release for DeAndre White. They have 253 total yards as we have a half minute to play here in the first quarter. And that wheel route thrown behind. Third and ten. And was thrown to the inside of Cooper. Sims. And he was looking for Cooper. Malzahn and Spurrier. Third and four. Good pull by Blake Sims inside the 10. And he just bumper cars his way right into the end zone. And Jackson had the recovery. And then they see offense like this all time, all night. Here's Sims. Looked one way and then comes back the other way as he threw it to the outside of White against Bama. As here's Cooper, one cutback. Here's the screen to yelled in and he dropped it. Play action. Sims downfield complete DeAndre White. And this comeback effort from Tennessee here. Sims pressure escapes. Keeps his footing and goes downfield incomplete. And there's Cooper this time. They're able to gather him. See some tempo now from the Alabama offense. Pressure up that A-gap. They pick it up. Downfield they go. Almost one-handed. Just on the south side of midfield for Alabama. Sims extending the play. Tucking, running, trying. Where's the mark? And that looks like it's going to be a first down for the tie. Second and seven. Swinging it to Yeldon. And Yeldon trying to fight for extra against McNeil as they go empty on third and four. And he gets it complete to Cooper. Now, race of Martinsville presented by AutoZone Sunday at 1 on ESPN. Blake Sims downfield. 
And gets it to White. He didn't see the pressure coming at all. No surprise when you talk about a defensive group of who's going to step up and going to make a play. And you can see Majit there. Ball is loose. Tennessee's got it. In a rivalry game. 34-17. Dobbs, a couple rough possessions, forces the interception. Now his defense needs to get him the ball back. They fake the pitch, and Sims downfield gets it complete. That was really well executed to Cooper. Sims has thrown it 24. Third and five. He got to the corner. Second and six. Sims. And it's incomplete. And the flag is down. Pass interference. Defense number 37. Get that shoulder in there right in the back. Taking down clock. Second and three with Derrick Henry as the lone back. And he's going to boot this bad boy and pick it up. 